discuss that later on. So we are glad you are joining us from in the future. But today we are so glad to see you right now. And we are so glad you are joining us in the summer, almost fall morning. Please stand and join us for our call to worship for an individual. Find us together.
you to turn to 881 in your hymnal for our apostles' creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day He rose from the dead, He ascended into heaven, and sent at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
as we enter in this time of prayer, are there any reports, any concerns, any blessings? <coughs> yes, sir. My surgery went well. The doctor said it was very challenging. I had some deterioration in my hip and it took a little longer than what they thought. But, uh, everything is going well. And appreciate the, the prayer. Absolutely. This is good. Um, put Ben on there. This is concerning his uh, grad school. And so uh, keep uh, him on. Uh, and uh, my brother's church uh, was the one that burned down. He's the night. Warrior Creek Baptist. He put them on.
all the bears or something, she didn't have really any choice. So I took a picture, she said, I found one. And what she rewarded was the last time she broke her arm or the third time, and they, <laughs> they gave her this little fairy, you know, like six, seven inches, little thing. They didn't have made, they had a heart on it. And I said, what in the world do you want a piece of that for? Apparently it was a writing assignment for her classes. She had to write about something meaningful. So I'm just happy she's <laughs> on it already. <laughs> They miss their dogs. Any unspoken prayers about it? What's the On the father's point, he deals with sickness. Father is heartbroken, so we're off the church. Father, the words. Father, you come to this place. You know, these are hard. Father, you go out of this place. Father, it's through us, through your spirit, and these things. Father, we love you. Father, we look to be expected. Father, even though there is so much sorrow, so much hurt that comes, we have to do it. We have to do it coming as promised, but we also have to do it coming as we sing the day. Father, as good things come out of the world, of our families, of our friends, of anything, Father, we have blessings that are upon us, help, a reassurance. Father, you need to see you. Father, our family is going to go home. Father, as we visit such a wonderful world, that there is so much fire, floods, massacres, and just depression. Father, we thank you. And we look to you as well. Because, Father, we see you on the horizon. We see you coming up behind us. And we look to you as well. God, you're not going to be.
somebody says something to you or you or whatever you to do, we might have been a little bit or something like that's going on in our life and we forgot to say something to them. It's those things like that, same boys in and out of the church that we, you know, have trouble with. Um, and then I thought, how, how have you ever noticed how easy it is to love somebody that we're in total with? I mean, it's so easy. And if they have the same mind that we have, they might have similar political views or have different things that come to They have same similar political views, they have similar lifestyles as us. Um, they may have heard us or seen something that happened to us or.
I know we have LL start at the back, and we're going to try and hopefully get around these cues. <laughs> yeah, so if we can make all the way around here, and please ask me to come around this there we go. There we go. So Mary B has to touch on my script that I was going to preach on today. So uh, John 13, 34 to 35. For I have given you new commandments to love one another. That way, you are able to recognize me as my disciples through this, through my love. We have an opportunity to pass it on just by merely being loving of one another. They will recognize who we are and recognize our speech and have a holy conversation just through us and loving. Through whether being around each other as it is right now, all together together in church, but also as we move on in our lives, as we preach to one another through simple words of how are you? How can I help you? How can I come together next? We can love each other. So Heavenly Father, we thank you. Father, guide us from here. And as we go forward, let us pass this on. As we love on those that are around us. Father, teach us every day what it means to love sacrificing. To love forgiving. To love us in the field. Father, we thank you for your son, Heavenly Man. You are our only sacrifice and our only love. Father, as you will come to us. Father, we thank you and we love you as you move forward. How about love and your own name? In your son's name is Brad. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>